Hey gorgeous souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another one of my videos today. So if you're new to my channel, then welcome. My name is Emma and here on this channel, we cover all things law of attraction, manifestation, spirituality, and self-help. I'm an award-winning life coach and mentor, two times a best-selling law of attraction author. I have my YouTube channel, of course, and my podcast, Spiritual Queen's Badass Podcast, which is the number two podcast on iTunes in the spirituality category category. So welcome and I hope you're going to enjoy not only this video but all of the abundance of videos here on my YouTube channel. There's about over 500 now so you've got so much to dive into. So what I really want to focus on today with you and share with you is my five top law of attraction books. Over the six years of my spirituality journey, my law of attraction journey, I have read probably hundreds of books, not only on the law of attraction, but spiritual topics and self-help topics as well. So I thought it was about time that I did an updated video on my five books that I highly recommend and think are the best to go to for law of attraction and manifestation. So these books have been with me throughout my journey. Some are new because I've given them away to people or I've lost them um, and I've loved them so much that they've needed a new cover because I've read them that much. So um, they're well loved books and I'm so excited to share them with you today. So my first book is The Magic by Rhonda Byrne. So you may know The Secret by Rhonda Byrne as well. The Magic is her second book. And if you're a long-term subscriber here on my channel, you will know how much I love this book and how much it has been such a pivotal part of my journey. So this, I checked on my Amazon account, is my fifth copy of the book, if not more, because I bought it from the works and other bookshops as well. The reason why I've had so many copies is because I kept giving it away to people. I kept saying, hey, have my copy. It's so good, go and read it. And then the person would like never give it back because it's that good. Or I would end up giving it away to people, losing it. So this is my fifth copy as well as having a Kindle edition as well. So I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna treat myself to another copy. I deserve it and I love this book so much. So I have a brand new copy for when I want to go through it again. I haven't done the magic in many years now just because I prefer following my own Positively Wealthy Challenge and I feel like my practices and my knowledge and the things that I work with have deepened so much, but The Magic is such a great book for beginners. It's such a great starting point, and I really feel like it allowed me to understand the law of attraction more than The Secret did. And it was definitely one of those books for me that really transformed my life and helped me to manifest so many amazing things and really just helped me to really get, yeah, understand the law of attraction. I wouldn't say it is the best out of the five, but I would say it's probably the second out of the five. If not third, I would say best. So highly recommend reading The Magic. Um, if you're at that beginning stage of your law of attraction journey, it is really good. It's a 28 day sort of like um, challenge book essentially. So you get little tasks and actions. The tasks are quite lengthy. And I remember the last time I did this, I was like, oh my God, this is like so lengthy each day to do especially when you're doing 10 points of gratitude. So it can be quite lengthy, um, which I don't think is always a bad thing. If you've got the time to do it and you want to do it, then that's a positive thing. But I do think there are easier books out there, which I will show you, which makes it more manageable. I do feel there is stuff still missing out of The Secret. As I've always said, I feel like The Secret is such a great introduction. It's such a great basics, almost introduction. But do I feel that it is comprehensive enough? I don't feel the magic is comprehensive enough. I feel like it dips your toes. I feel like it gets you like doing some fun challenges and enjoying it, definitely enjoying the process. Like I have loved doing this book multiple times over the years, but I feel like now, there is easier, better ways to go deeper with your manifestation work, which gets you bigger and better results. So I feel like this is an all round good book. Definitely would recommend it. Definitely love it. Definitely will do it again. Um, but I feel like there's other great books out there as well, which equally complements this. So my second book is Raise Your Vibration by Kyle Grace. So as you can see, this book is literally rubbing off. It has been used and read and loved that much. So this book, I like, it's falling apart at the seams. Um, this book has been read 
hundreds of times. I bought this back in 2016. You can see how much has been read. The book just falls flat open. Um, and I really loved this book. So this book I reckon was the second or third spiritual book I got. So again, very, very early on in my journey, I came across this book and loved it. So this again is a little bit of like a daily book. Um, the magic is obviously a daily book where you do like daily tasks and actions. Um, and this book is very similar apart from it's more of a mantra or a visualization. So what I really love about Kyle's book is just how accessible it is. So I wouldn't call it a law of attraction book, but what I would call it is a great way to connect deeper with the law of attraction and connect more with yourself and the spirit. So you do work with your angels in this book. You do obviously work with the law of attraction. You do work with manifestation, but it's not like a how to manifest book. It is more of a spirituality book, which features law of attraction. And I really love this book because it really does raise your vibration. And Kyle is bringing out a brand new edition of this book next month I think in July so um, exciting stuff that there'll be a brand new edition which is updated new practices and evolved as such so I would definitely I mean I haven't read that version but I'm sure it's amazing and this version is just as amazing as well so I would definitely recommend checking out this book I would definitely recommend getting this and adding this to your spiritual practice it literally takes like a minute out of my daily routine. And I did this consecutively for years, always reading a page, always reading a mantra. I've fallen out of my practice recently. So I feel like including in this video is my sign of like, yeah, let's do that again. Cause I really loved it. So literally like the mantras, um, you can just see you've got like your vibe 49 on your way home. And then obviously you've got your vibe of the day. So like a little practice and an intention. So it's really, really simple to do, really simple to follow and understand. Um, and you do get great results from it as well. So I wouldn't say it's a really like in-depth results, law of attraction book, but I'd say it's a really fun book that does get you results really helps to raise your vibration and really helps you manifest greatness in your life. Third book is E Squared by Pam Grout. So Pam, well, Kyle's come on the podcast as well. Pam has actually come on the podcast and Pam was someone that I really wanted to interview because E Squared was definitely one of the books that really helped me to understand the law of attraction from a science perspective. So Pam, Pam's work and Pam's book does come from more of a science perspective. And again, this is another challenge book. So it is nine different do-it-yourself energy experiments that prove your thoughts create your reality. So Pam is a law of attraction teacher by trade. Um, she is the author of 16 books. But yeah, she definitely focuses on law of attraction. Um, so E squared could be best described as a lab manual with simple experiments that prove reality is malleable, consciousness, trumps matter and you shape your life with your mind. Yes, you read that right, it says prove. So I loved these nine experiments because it was such a different way to look at the law of attraction and it was such a different way to manifest from a science perspective. So if someone you know, or you're like kind of a skeptical, you love data, you love proof, you love science, Pam's book's great because a lot of the other books are very spiritual focused. They're very like, um, yeah, like spiritual focused of, you know, assuming that people believe in the universe, assuming that people believe in these things. Whereas Pam's work's great because it really helps the, the skeptic. It helps the person who maybe doesn't just automatically believe in the universe or spirituality or anything like that. Or is like, okay, the law of attraction sounds great, but how does it work? Like I want proof. So these experiments are really, really great. And I remember doing this about three or four years ago before she came on the podcast and I loved it. I loved the experiments. It was really, really fun to do. There's like little quotes and mantras in here as well. Um, so like the abracadabra principle, whatever you focus on expands. So I wouldn't say it was, should we say, groundbreakingly different information to the secret or the magic or Kyle's book, but I think it was a great different perspective on the law of attraction, which can really help people. I think sometimes it's nice to just do fun challenges and do something a little bit different. Maybe you've done the magic, maybe you've done my book, maybe you've done or you've read The Secret and you want something a little bit different to try, which is fun. I feel like this is a great book for that. And so many of you guys recommended it to me. So I'm really glad that I did finally get the book. Um, I ended up with a mini book, first of all. I ordered it off Amazon and this like little mini book turned up and I was like, I thought it was meant to be a book. So I, I got the big one in the end. So um, 
I really like this book and Pam has a series of them as well. It's not just E squared. There is like a series of these books. So I love it. I would definitely recommend it. I think it's really fun to do. I think it's a different, yeah, it's like a different approach to fun challenges with the law of attraction. And I think it can get a lot of results for people. It definitely felt like I felt really shifted doing it. I had so much fun doing the challenge and I definitely would do it again. I think I would probably do the magic challenge over this um, if I had to like pick one. Um, but I feel like because this is just nine experiments, this is great for someone who doesn't really wanna do like a month long challenge. They want something quick, easy, and they love really diving into more scientific um, experiments and theory rather than magic and spirituality and, um, you know, like manifesting things. So definitely I think there's a great audience for this, even though I'm very much spiritual and very much love spiritual, books. I really love this. I really think it's good. And Pam, you can listen to her interview on my podcast as well. Okay, so next up, before you judge, there is a reason I've included Positively Wealthy in these books. Okay, hear me out. A lot of people think that before they read Positively Wealthy, an assumption that a lot of people have is that it's copied from the magic, it's copied from the secret, it's copied from all the other great law of attraction books that are out there, but it is not in any way, shape or form. What I like, what I learned along my law of attraction journey was to not take everything as biblical and to read books and love books, but not think that that's the only way to do things. So when I read these law of attraction books, I didn't read them and think this is the only way to manifest or this is the only way to do it. I always read these books almost open-mindedly and tried them and loved them over like my journey. And then when I came to write this book in 2020, I thought, okay, actually, what are my tools and practices? What are my theories and methods with the law of attraction? So a lot of people are quite surprised when they read it and they're like, wow, this is completely different to any other law of attraction book out there. Like so, so different but so, so needed and really, really does work. So the reason why I've included it in my books is because it works, is because it works. And it is a great law of attraction book, regardless if I'm the one who wrote it. So Positively Wealthy has been out two years now, can you believe, and has over 200 five-star reviews on Amazon now of incredible, incredible, incredible stories, successes, manifestations. And of course you can see everybody's manifestations and stories on my Instagram highlights as well, um, on the videos, on the reviews, like there is so much goodness and it just makes my heart so happy that so many of you have manifested so many amazing things with it. So why would I not want to include it when it does get results for so many amazing people and it's such a feel good book. So obviously I'm gonna talk about this book from a non-biased perspective as much as I can because obviously it is my own book. But what I feel is different and why it's such a great law of attraction book is because it's a 33 day challenge. 33 is a great number, magical age number. And it's also my life path number as well. And each day takes you on a fun journey. So how this differs from the magic is massively. There's no copied practices. It's a completely different concept. Positively Wealthy's concept is redefining your version of wealth and manifesting and becoming positively wealthy and manifesting sustainable wealth in all areas of your life. So people very much think this is a money book. It's not, that's what the Positively Wealthy Journal is, a money journal. This book is redefining wealth in all areas of your life. So manifesting in all areas. So it, it basically looks at every area of your life and is like, okay, where are you not feeling good? Let's get you feeling good and let's get you manifesting your dreams and abundance in all areas in a way that stays, not in a way where your manifestations manifest and then you can't sustain them, they are sustainable. So that's what sustainable means as well by that. So what I really love about the Positively Wealthy Challenge is it's completely different to any other law of attraction challenge out there. It takes you deep into the inner work as well. So it's not just about, hey, let's manifest a coffee or let's manifest a sign of synchronicity. Yes, those are one day challenges in there, definitely. But what it does is it takes you into the inner work. It takes you to, and it helps you to identify your blocks, which a lot of law of attraction books do not do. And I think that's what was so frustrating for me along my journey and hence why I wrote this book was because I would do the magic, I would do Kyle's book, I would like 
all the other books I'm going to show you in a second as well where I do them and I'll be like great but now I have these limiting beliefs and fears I have this resistance and I have this ego and inner critic who is stopping me from manifesting that so this is why this book differs because it yes it brings you into my five steps to the law of attraction which is so much more understandable for people and really breaks down the journey when people like I hear it all the time of they'll read the magic they'll read the secret and think great but it's still not manifesting. Why is it not manifesting? Well, maybe manifestation isn't for me. And manifestation is for everybody. It does work for everybody. But sometimes we just need a more digestible way to understand the process. And that's exactly what I needed. Hence why I created my five step process, which you can actually see here on my channel. I've got a playlist of my five steps and it's obviously in the book too. So understanding those five steps unblocks a lot of people first and foremost, but then actually working through each step and doing the inner work and looking at resistance because at the end of the day, the only reason why your desire is not here is because of resistance, is because it's not an energetic match currently. So this book walks you through that process of becoming that energetic match, looking at your inner work and expanding the law of attraction so it's not just ask, believe, receive. It's we're gonna work with our angels to manifest, we're gonna work with crystals to manifest, all of the tools, all of the modalities, all the things that have helped me to manifest all the wonderful things in my life are in this book. But again, don't just take my word for it. Read the reviews on Amazon, read the reviews on Goodreads, I think it's called, read the Audible reviews, read the Kindle reviews, read the reviews that are out there. There are tons on my Instagram stories, tons everywhere. Um, and I'm so proud of everything the book's achieved. Obviously it's won two awards, which is amazing. Best book and best upskilling book as well in the Soul and Spirit Awards last year. Um, it's sold in Sainsbury's, like it has done phenomenal. So um, I'll just read a little bit of the blurb to just give you a little bit more of what you can expect. So Positively Wealthy is a guide to redefining your version of wealth and inviting abundance to all areas of your life. This book presents 33 daily challenges to shift your money and success mindset, offering spiritual guidance to radically improve your financial and emotional wellness. This fresh approach to the law of attraction and spirituality empowers you with simple, practical, proven tools to help you gain clarity and control over your financial well-being. So yes, that does paint a very financial picture. And yes, money and wealth and finance is the, you know, the focus of the book, but it really does cover all areas of your life, of healthy relationships, manifesting love, health, um, feeling good within yourself, raising your vibes, all of these things are covered in there. So it really is a an all round book, whereas the journal is, is specifically for your money goals over 12 months. So have a look, but definitely, definitely recommend doing this, even alongside the other books that I'm recommending. Like it's such a fun challenge and that's what I really love about this challenge is it's just so fun to do. And everyone loves it because it gets some results quickly, even by day two, people get amazing results from this. Um, and you know, it's aimed to help you manifest your big goals within those 33 days as well. So again, if you've done my book, let us know in the comments. I'm sure people would love to hear your experiences and your manifestations with this and all of the books. Let me know what you think of all of the books and any books you would recommend as well. And last but certainly not least is Ask and It Is Given by Esther and Jerry Hicks. So a lot of people ask me a lot of the time, am I an Abraham fan? And definitely over the years, I have loved Abraham's work. I've obviously had this book for a while. Um, and I do really love this. And I think this is definitely one of the best yeah, like one of the best Esther and Jerry Hicks books. I haven't read too many of the others, to be honest. I don't, like I said, I'm not someone who has ever really read every Law of Attraction book or ever sort of like really subscribed to everything of Abraham's work. I'm someone who was like dips their toes in a different author's work and it's like, okay, what vibes with me? What doesn't vibe with me? Um, and how can I make this my own? How can I create my own practices? How can I make this work for me essentially? And I think that's what I've always done along my journey, hence why my teachings are quite different because I'm like, okay, but what has worked for me through trial, through error, through experimenting, a bit like Pam's book. So I really love this book. So it's learning to manifest your desires. Um, 
This fascinating book by Esther and Jerry Hicks, which presents the teachings of the non-physical entity Abraham, will help you learn how to manifest your desires so that you're living a joyous and fulfilling life you deserve. As you read, you'll come to understand how your relationships, health issues, finances, career concerns, and more are influenced by the universal laws that govern your, space, your time space reality, and you'll discover powerful processes that will help you go with the positive flow of life. It's your birthright to live a life filled with everything that is good, and this book will show you how to make it so in every way. I really like this book. I think it's a really nice book and I do really love a lot of Abraham teachings. You guys know him, wouldn't it be nice method? That's in there. Um, the emotional scale. So understanding our emotions and how we can move up that emotional scale to raise our vibration and feel good. Like there are so many things from Abraham's teaching. Um, here we go, I've literally turned to, wouldn't it be nice? There we go, my favorite chapter. So there are so many things in this book. And the, I, what I love about this book is it, I wouldn't say it's like a challenge book, but every single chapter is quite small. So it's very digestible. You're not having to read long lengthy chapters, but um, it's also got like um, mantras in there. It's got challenges in there. It's got like little practices. So I think this is an all round good, yeah, an all round really good book of everything, of a little bit of challenge, a little bit of learning. Um, I do really love Abraham's teachings, absolutely. Um, yeah, I've definitely always loved them. I've used a lot of their practices myself and recommend them a lot of the time to you guys. So I really do like this. And the emotional scale, I've just turned to that. Yeah, the emotional scale is great to learn because it really helped me to understand how the emotional scale works, how I can get myself back up to that happy place and why we need to embrace our emotions as well. So I do really like their teachings. I think it's one of the best teachings out there. Um, and yeah, I love this book such, I always feel like this is like one of those like Bible books of like the go-to book, definitely. Abraham isn't for everybody though. I know a lot of people who are like, oh no, I wouldn't like read that or no, I don't subscribe to that. So I think Abraham's a bit like Marmite sometimes. People either love it or they hate it. It's a bit like A Course in Miracles. It's like love it or hate it. Um, Course in Miracles, I did really like. That's, I'm not gonna chuck that in, but just in case people, I have read The Course in Miracles. And then I've also read A Course in Miracles made easy because The Course in Miracles was like, whoa. And I love Marianne Williamson's work as well. I think Marianne Williamson's work I resonate with more than A Course in Miracles. Of course, Gabby teaches um, Course in Miracles as well. Um, and Gabby Super Attractor is another great book I would recommend. I haven't included it in this because just because I feel like these are my kind of like biblical go-to books, but Super Attractor by Gabby Bernstein is also a fantastic book. I would say it's on that beginner scale. I feel like if you've been doing the Law of Attraction for a while, you've read a lot of these books, I feel like you'll have some positive reminders from Gabby Super Attractor, but I feel like more people at the beginning of their manifestation journey would take more away from it. But I really enjoyed reading it. Um, um, gave me some great reminders um, and some great aha moments. So I really love that book as well. So all of the books I've mentioned will be in the description below for you to go and check out. Please let me know what books you've read from what I've mentioned as well. I'd love to hear what you've read, what's really helped transform your life and what your go-to law of attraction books are as well. But thank you so much guys for watching. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I reply to more. Let me know your favorite books I'd love to hear. And of course, you can also see my book recommendations on all things spirituality and law of attraction in the description box below. I'll pop that link there as well. So I have a page full of all of my book recommendations that I've read over the last six years and love. So you can find all of them on there as well, even if you don't want to read about law of attraction or manifesting. And don't forget you can join my free Law of Attraction support group over on Facebook as well, where you can join myself and other like-minded souls, where we talk all things Law of Attraction and spirituality. But I hope you have a fantastic week, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you all in my next YouTube video, which will be on Tuesday. Lots of love.